Hey everyone, it's Walker in Full Spectrum Laser, and today I wanted to show you a cool feature I don't think you know is in RE3, and that is the trace bitmap feature. We're just going to go over it real quick and talk about why it's so awesome. Uh, first, we're going to open up the software, we're going to minimize it, and we're going to drag and drop just a JPEG image. You know, just your typical JPEG. We're going to change that to threshold over in the raster uh, design um settings and now we have our image this is very typical if you want to do an engraving but let's say we don't want to do an engraving we want to cut this file out so in the same sort of settings on this side we're going to scroll down and click trace image and just that simple we have a vector Remember, vectors are for cuts. If we wanted to, what's cool is we can also edit this within RA3. So you, you can go ahead and delete these nodes and say you want to engrave this image and then cut out the outside of it, you know, with the same shape. Well, very easily done. We just delete these uh, nodes or anchor points, depending on what software you're used to. And now we have an outline so we can engrave and then cut. Um, let's say we don't want to cut. We just, I mean engrave, we just delete that. Now we still have our path. We can do all sorts of things. We could infill this, um, do whatever you want. So I hope you learned a little bit. Knowing the tools in the software, it can really empower you to continue to be better at designing for lasers and just understanding RE3 in general. That's not, it's not limited. You can design right here or just tweak your designs if they don't work from, say, your Illustrator or Inkscape type programs. So I hope you learned a lot. And until next time, keep making.